Uh, let's talk about the SEC for a second. And it turns out, back uh, not that long ago, the SEC added a $30 million buyout to their conference bylaws. And people are just now catching on to this. But now everybody is trying to figure out who in the world would you have put that in for? Like, who are they concerned about leaving the SEC now that this new contract is is about to be, you know, massive money for everybody, et cetera? But as we talked about, whenever Texas and Oklahoma came in, uh, there's not going to be enough wins for everybody, we don't think. Now, obviously, this year kind of proved that wrong. You got 14 teams. You got 13 of them into bowl games. But, you know, you bring in Oklahoma and Texas, you would imagine that's going to take some wins off the table for some teams. So, in your estimation... Why do you think they tossed in this $30 million buyout? Is it just to secure the rights to, you know, leading into the ESPN deal? Well, yes. It, it is. Why? People are so always trying to read extra stuff in. I'm sure this is normal language. I, the Big 12 obviously had a, a penalty for if you leave, right? Like yeah. every conference has a penalty for if you leave. I don't think it's because, oh, we're afraid that this team might leave and we better make sure we get some money because if they leave, our brand will go down. Like, they don't care about any of that stuff. If you break this contract, we got to go through a bunch of work of reworking schedules, refiguring this and refiguring that. There's a lot of work that has to be done. There's a lot of marketing material that we have to go out and pull down that's now obsolete and rebrand and all this other stuff. And so, if you leave, it's going to cost you $30 million. Okay, not including the money that you're going to give up leaving the biggest cash cow in the country, but you owe all the other teams thirty million dollars. Yeah, when you like, when you think, look at it, I don't think he was thinking. Oh, maybe Auburn's sick of this and they're tired of the <laughs> politics and they want to get out. Like, I don't think anybody in the world like that didn't happen at all. Okay, everybody wants to be here. People are dying to get into the SEC. Okay, very doubtful that they would if that anybody would be leaving. I certainly believe that. This is just normal language that you put into a contract. If the contract is worth this much money, we think to break this contract, we're going to charge you this. Yeah, yeah. No, you uh, you were not wrong about that. Um, I don't know of anybody that would be trying to get out of this. Nobody. So, I mean, it's just the whole thing's crazy. The whole thing's I mean, crazy. all the SEC teams together would put in $30 million apiece to bounce Van- Vanderbilt out if they could. But yep. they can't. So. Yeah, so this uh, it says the adjustments made to SEC bylaws in January 2021 were related to securing and distributing supplemental income to SEC members to help mitigate the financial impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on SEC athletics programs as announced in May. SEC presidents and chancellors unanimously appro- uh, approved the bylaw change, said Herb Vincent, the SEC Associate Commissioner for Communications. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really crazy. Like, the, the SEC didn't really have to worry about this before. Um, now, I guess, with because they didn't have one before. Um, but now, they do have an exit fee. And, I mean, there's not really a bunch of concern, I would think. The TV deal in the past sucked, too. So, yeah. like, they had a lot of things that didn't probably used to be in the contract that are going to be in the new one because it's, it's going to be the richest contract in the history of college sports. Yes. Yes, you are not so, wrong. So, so, that's why you have to have all the like you can't just backdoor deal and handshake deal all this shit. Like we got to act like grown ups now, okay? And we like that we're this contract was originally drawn up by a bunch of rednecks from the south. All right, all right. And and I know they represent a bunch of universities, and so it's supposed to be this this influence of higher learning. But trust me, these guys aren't that smart. All right, they're just not. Okay, they just threw this shit together. Well, now. We're corporate America, okay? We're we're a little bit more highfalutin than we used to be, and we gotta ha- make sure all our eyes are dotted and all our T's are crossed. And this is just what normal language has to be in contracts, okay? A lot of work's going to go involved if one of you leaves, and therefore you got to pay a tax for that because we're not doing all that work for free. Yeah, the thirty million mark, by the way. Um... So it has to do, it can go all the way up to $45 million depending upon when you leave, right? 30 is the, the least uh, if you just wait until the very last minute. And, you know, 45 if you want to leave immediately, like, that's what you got to pay. So, 
Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense to uh, to have it all on paper and whatnot. The fact that it wasn't before is kind of crazy, but when you were the uh, highest-earning conference in the country, there was really no reason to worry about it. So now it's just actually written down on paper. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.